In 2009, Noah and Kendra had a long distance fling for about a year. And after several months of not seeing each other, Noah decided to visit Kendra. But when he arrived, he noticed that something was different. She had a baby. And she said he was the father. Whoa. Noah wants a DNA test to be sure. These results and more on today's Steve Wilco Show. I never even knew she was pregnant. I mean, I would love to have a son. I told Noah that it was his son, thinking that it would keep me and Noah together. She was intimate with another person. And then you said, maybe it's that other dude's baby. It is that other dude's baby. Oh. I loved you so much that it didn't even matter if you was with me, just to know that you was thinking about me. I just want to know the truth, man. I don't think this is my baby. The baby is not your son. He's not even my son. What? I've been accused of sleeping with a transsexual. How do you know that he slept with a transsexual? This is the tranny told me. If he's gay, he's gay, and I'm gonna tell his wife. Man, I don't see nothing funny about this, man. I think they could have made this up like he loved women. We had sex, and that was that. Why do you want to fight somebody you never met in your life? Act like a lady, all right? All right. Why, why you going there? Right? I mean, if you're making this up, what a horrible thing to do, right? Well, I'm here because back in 2009, I met a Kendra, and um, we dated off and on for about a year. And in 2010, she conceived a child that I had no knowledge of. I never even knew she was pregnant. And maybe about three or four months into the child's birth, she started saying that I was the father. And when she produced the conception date, it was the same day that she was intimate with another person. How do you know that? Because I showed up at her house at about 2 a.m. You know, I was under the influence of alcohol, and I knocked on the door, and there was another gentleman in there. And instead of me leaving, I stayed. <laughs> <laughs> I, I drove 30 miles. I mean, I mean, you know, so. <laughs> So, you know, I, 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 I stayed and, um... You stayed in what? My vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> and I waited for him to come out, and after he came out, I went in and... and you had sex with her? I had sex with her, man. <laughs> I don't even... It's... He went 30 miles! <laughs> 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 It's the truth. It's the I truth. believe you. It's the truth. It's the Nobody's truth. submitting to that story unless it's the truth. You didn't feel awkward. I felt, I felt drunk. <laughs> and See, this is one of the most honest guys we've had on the show. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. Thank you, now, then you keep dating on and off. Um, actually, after that, we lost contact for lost a contact. very long time. Nine months. Uh, longer than that. <laughs> um, and she got back in contact with me, I believe, through a family member or so. And she came with a baby. But I didn't know that it was her baby. I thought it was maybe she was babysitting or something of that nature. So it wasn't until like the second or third time that I saw her and the baby that she said, oh, yeah, this is my baby. And, and what so, was your reaction to that? I was like... That's your baby. Like, where I been for the nine months? Like, and and and, and then she. But added, then she said it's your baby. Then she said it's your baby. I was like, oh no, there's no way possible. You know. And I, then you said maybe it's that other dude's baby. Uh, it is that other dude's baby. Well, is what, you I, is, is what I said. So you know. Oh, what and, you said. And, you know, she 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 never was really strongly. You know, she never acted strongly about it as as far as me being in a baby's life or. Or, or me being a father, she would just send different little messages. She never messages. contacted you and said, hey, I'm she pregnant? She contacted me? No, no. And she never said, hey, come to the hospital, I'm giving no, birth to you? No, it was... What, a little baby boy or a girl? It's a boy. A boy. And when you see a picture of the boy, or, have you met the boy? I've met the boy about three times. And, you know, I grew up, I grew up fatherless. Um, you know, I haven't, I just reunited with my father here in February of this year. I hadn't seen him since I was about six or seven years old. And I've always wanted a son. I have two children, and I wanted my second to be a boy, like I had him in and Eve, you know, but it didn't work out that way. So, I mean, I would love to have a son. When you look at the little guy, do you get any, like, hey, he looks like me? Um, it's like when my, you look at my son, 
and you look at my pitches when I was that age, I mean, you know he's my son. We're like twins. Uh, I, do, I, 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 I don't get that feeling. You don't from, get that from feeling. From that picture. Um, any pictures that I've seen, I haven't got uh, emotional feeling that that's my child, but other family members feel differently. So What if he is? Oh, if he's my child, then I'm going to do everything I can to take care of him. I can't make up for two years. You know, you know, I, can't, you know, I can't make up for two years, but I can you know, stick around and make the next 16 years as good well, as possible. For the know? rest of his life. The right? rest of his or life. the rest of yours. Welcome to the family. Do you, you, know? do you have feelings for her? No. I haven't seen her in two years. Now, I mean, what if we went back to my green room and I gave you a couple drinks? <laughs> well, it, it, might, those feelings might come back. No, I, I just. Uh, and you wouldn't even have to drive. <laughs> I told Noah that it was his son, thinking that it would keep me and Noah together. I just want to know the truth, man. I don't think this is my baby. The baby is not your son. He's not even my son. What? I told Noah that it was his son, thinking that it would keep me and Noah together. Um, so what I'm going to do now, Noah, is I'm going to uh, ask you to uh, go backstage. I'm going to speak to Kendra, and then we'll bring you out, and we'll get to the results. Cool. All right. All right. Thanks for uh, coming out. Yes, sir. Uh, let's let's bring out Kendra. Nice to meet you, So, uh, Kendra, um, you're a busy lady. Um, Noah seems like a very nice guy, pretty handsome. Very. <laughs> what, uh, what's your side of the story? Well, me and Noah, we dated for maybe a year and a half. And I loved him. I loved him so much. I mean, I feel like I couldn't even live without him, but I knew that it was just a sex thing with us a sex. for him. But for me, it was way it was, more. Yeah, it was feelings. Yes. So we just went from there. And I, I just loved him, and I wanted to be with him, and I would do anything to be with him. And uh, the night that he came over and you had uh, company, mm -hmm. and he waited out in the car, yeah. Well. So you were doing a pretty good job of living without him. Yeah. Well, Noah was gone. <laughs> Noah was gone for like. You didn't expect a while. him to show was, up. He just popped up. No yeah. call. No nothing. Two a.m. You know, he just popped up. It's right. two o'clock in the morning, and I hadn't seen him. Um, handsome young man, beautiful baby boy. Yes, he is beautiful. You just—he must be the, the light of your life, right? Yeah, he is. He really is. I mean, I raise him. I love him. And your relation to him? He's my cousin. He's my cousin's son. I've been raising him since he was born. So he's not your son? He's not my son. Right. <laughs> um... But you've told Noah that it's his son. Yes, I told Noah that it was his son, thinking that it would keep me and Noah together. Right. <laughs> I mean, I did, it's, because I loved him, right. you know, and I wanted but, to do anything but, right. for him. You, you did it for love, but in a very convoluted way. Yes, I know I was wrong, and back then when I conjured up the lie, I didn't think about my actions before I made my actions. But after the lie was told, me and Noah had no contact for like, you know, months and months at a time. So it didn't work? It didn't work. I never asked him, but I never asked him for anything. I never... He said that. I never told him 
hey, you need to see your son. I never said anything because I knew. But he's under the impression that, it, that it, it might be his son. Yes, he's on. Like a couple of weeks ago, he wanted to be in his life. And I was like, the lie, it wasn't, I didn't want to tell the lie no more after, you know, when he contacted me, right. it had been so long. I didn't want to lie no more, but after he came to me and he was like, I want to know if that's my son, I didn't want to just tell him over the phone. I wanted to be able to tell him face to face. On national TV. <laughs> well, on national TV. And I wanted to be able to have some help, maybe someone to understand why I did it. It was wrong, but... How do you feel about, you know, Noah thinking that it could, you know, it's his son? <sighs> Since Noah got his father in his life and it became so important to him, I feel bad because mm. I don't want him to hurt at all. I don't want him hurt. And you love him. I love him to death. And you'd still want him back if he wanted to be back with you? Not, in, no. not, not, not at this moment. Not at this moment. So he's here to thinking that he's going to um, be told some DNA results, which is absolutely not necessary. Yes. Um, and you're here today to tell him the truth. To tell him the truth. Okay. Mm. I, I hope it works out good for everybody. Okay. Let's uh, bring Noah back out. Truth, man. I don't think this is my baby. I just don't see it. I don't see it. I don't see it. Well, no, you know. I don't see it. I don't believe it. You know I love you, and I always have. I know I you didn't. haven't seen you in two years. Okay, you haven't seen me in two years, but I still love you. You still in my heart. But I'm not saying I love you as I want to be with you, but I love you because I, I always have loved you, and I always will love you, and I always want you to be my friend. But I do have something to tell you. The baby is not your son. He's not even my son. What? <laughs> I'm being accused of sleeping with a transsexual. How do you know that he slept with a transsexual? Because the tranny told me. If he gay, he gay. And I'm going to tell his wife. Man, I don't see nothing funny about this, man. But I do have something to tell you. I have been lying to you. And the baby is not your son. He's not even my son. I've just been raising him since birth. And I'm sorry. I never meant to hurt you. What? <laughs> wow. I mean, I loved you so much that I felt like that would keep you in my life. It didn't even matter if you was with me just to know that you was thinking about me. That's an extreme measure, man. It is. It Hope really is. on Facebook or something, I mean. <laughs> oh my goodness. But I just really wanted to tell you face to face. By the way, that was one of the most romantic things I've ever heard anybody ever say in my life. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to tell you, I mean, I. I mean, I know you want a son or whatever, but I really couldn't hurt you no more because I'm at a point in my life where I'm trying my best to do right, and I just wanted to be right by letting you know that I was wrong. And I'm sorry. I do love you. It's bad business, man. <laughs> it is. Serious talk. I mean, I messed up. I did. I wasn't expecting to hear this. I know. Well, I'm not even going to play victim. I guess it is what it is. You know what, I mean? what she said, and, and obviously she has a lot of emotion for you. 
Um, the thing that you did say that I, I think everybody, you know, struck everybody is that even though maybe you weren't with her, you'd be thinking about her. Um, that's, that's somebody who truly loves you. Um, and she said she, she doesn't want to be with you now, but she'll always love you. She's had a lot of feelings for you. She's always going to love you. She still wants to be your friend. Um, that's an extreme measure, man. It is. It is, but um, to cap to it on TV in front of people um, and to tell you, and, and the reason why she did it, because she loves you, I mean, people do a lot of crazy things when they're really in love um, or when they're really uh, horny. <laughs> so I just want to know, is now that she's uh, told you this, the truth, um, and she's not asking anything of you or more of you except friendship. And I'm just wondering, is that possible? Yeah, well, I guess we could be friends, I guess, man. Oh. You're a good guy, man. You're a good guy. Um, I'm glad you guys are going to be friends. Good luck, man. Good luck. I'm being accused of sleeping with a transsexual. How do you know that he slept with a transsexual? Because the tranny told me. If he gay, he gay, and I'm gonna tell his wife. We had sex, and that, that was that. Why do you want to fight somebody you never met in your life? Act like a lady, all right? All right. Why are you, why are you going Marvin and Rainey will be celebrating their six-year wedding anniversary in five days. But two weeks ago, Rainey received a phone call saying that Marvin had cheated on her with a transsexual. I'm here to get my family back. I'm being accused of sleeping with a transsexual. I met Marvin on this transsexual website, so evidently he was looking for a transsexual to begin with. I met him in person around the neighborhood. The whole thing started with I moved down with my goddaughter and her old lady. I was living with them because me and my wife had been going through some problems. And I was giving them every little bit of money that I was getting to help them out. And when I decided that it wasn't working out, Lacey made up this because I wouldn't pay them the rent money. I feel betrayed because I never thought my goddaughter would do something like that. Marvin didn't know that I knew Crystal and Lacey. It was a coincidence that I knew them, and I was the one that told them about the affair me and Marvin was having. Me and Marvin hooked up twice. Yes, he liked it, and he said he wanted to, to do it again. I didn't know about his wife until after the fact. They thought his wife, Rainy Chanel, so they told her. She told me she kind of believed it. She didn't put it past him. This person is ruining my life. This person is taking my family from me. I feel alone with my wife, my kids. In a hotel room now, I have nobody. My wife said, unless I come on this show and prove that I'm telling the truth, that she was not going to even think about coming back to me. I believe Marvin's gay because he slept with a transsexual. He was 100% cool with it. He didn't have no complaints and he still was calling. I'm not gay, and I certainly never slept with a transaction. Yeah, I love my wife too much to even think about sleeping in with those people. Believe it or not, this is not uncommon. Married men look for transsexuals all the time and think they can hide it from their wives. This woman, Rainy, needs to know the truth. Today, she will find out, and there's no more hiding. Do you believe that your husband slept with a transsexual? No, I don't. But you never put nothing past nobody. Right. Um, but, you know, this is a case of uh, your husband sleeping with another man, right? Yes. I wouldn't think my husband would do nothing like that. I, I don't think my husband gay. Yeah. You guys were having problems and he moved out for a while. Yes, we've been separated for like three months and 
we was planning on getting back together. But that day I was going to come down there to stay with him was the day that Lacey, my goddaughter's girlfriend, put on Facebook that he was messing with a transsexual. When you heard that he did this, what was your reaction to it? I started going crazy on the phone with him. I started cussing him out. I started going crazy. Who actually told you? Um, Lacey called me on 3 Away. She claimed on 3 Away with the transsexual. Right, and then the transsexual talked to you too? Yeah, told me detail from detail, all that crazy stuff. I, I mean, when I got off the phone, I cried like a baby. That, that stuff hurt. And then but they wouldn't you give like your that. husband some benefit of the doubt? I, I want to believe my husband. I don't think, right. I don't think he'll do nothing like that. I mean, but is, and not the like pride, but like, is your sex life normal with him? Yes, it's, he. It seems like he loved women. He loved. <laughs> <laughs> um, you never were suspicious that he was gay. No. Mm-mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, you you hear where it's like he didn't pay them for rent and. Could your goddaughter had made this up? Um, yes. I I think they could have made this up because I think they just mad about the money that he moved out. Because when he did finally start working down there, found a job, they just kept, you know, taking all this money. And I was like, you just got paid yesterday. You know what I'm saying? Two days ago, where all your money at? Where I had to pay them this and pay them that? And they told me, so I know he did. And and if they did make this up, this would probably be a pretty mean thing to do, right? Because I'd it's be, hurtful to you. Yes, I'd be really hurt. You know, Lacey, me and her don't have no relationship. But me and my goddaughter, you know, I've been knowing her since she was 12. And that'll hurt me because she stood behind all this, knowing the truth the whole time. She could have emailed me, snuck and called but me. But if your husband fails to lie to talk to us, then... Oh, he ain't never got to worry about us no more. If he gay, he gay, and I'm gonna tell his wife. Man, I don't see nothing funny about this, man. We had sex, and that was that. Why you, you want to fight somebody you never met in your life? Act like a lady, all right? Why you, why you going there? Yeah, he gay, and I'm gonna tell his wife. Man, I don't see nothing funny about this, man. We had sex, and that was that. Okay, uh, we're gonna meet uh, Lacey and Crystal. First off, I don't care about your, uh, his money or anything. I was just passing. And I'm sorry, uh, and you are? Lacey. Lacey, and, and, and this is your godmother? No. no. Oh, okay. Your, is this is your godmother. Yes. You're Lacey and you're Crystal. Yes. Okay, continue. I don't care about Marvin's money. I have my own place. I have my own job. I didn't need his money. It's, I just was telling you what was told to me. You know, That's I wasn't trying to hurt too, you. But... I wasn't trying to do anything. How do you know that he slept with the transsexual? Because <laughs> the tranny told me. She said, I, just, I just passed on the message. How did you even know this transsexual? I saw him and we was talking and... He was just like, you know, hey, you know, um, he was like, when you moved here, he was just asking me questions like that. And I was just like, you know, just not too long ago. And I was like, um, I told him, uh, I told him about the story about what Marvin did to me about, you know, he was like, oh, I know him, you know. And I was like, really, how you know him? <laughs> and he was just like, well, he, then he explained like what happened. And I was just like, so basically, I got and you to- believed it. I'm not saying I believe it. You know, he do look a little fruity, but I, I ain't, you know. <laughs> I, I, were, and were you there when you ran into the transsexual? No, I was just told the story. You were told the story. Yes. And when you were told the story, what was your feeling about it? I mean, I was disappointed being that that was my god dad, you know, being that I don't really have a father figure in my life. And I looked at him as a father figure. I'm just like, you know, if that is true, I would really be disappointed, you know. 
Now, did you were you mad at him for skipping out on the rent? Yes, I was upset about that. I'm not going to lie about it. I was upset about it. Yes, right. I was. And this isn't just a big uh, plot to get him back. And I mean, if you're making this up, what a horrible thing to do, right? Right. It's right. nothing I would make up because I don't even care about their relationship that much to make it up. I just passed on the message. And but why would you even do that? Because if he's gay, he's gay. And I'm going to tell his wife. <laughs> But you just said you don't even care about the relationship. I don't. <laughs> but I, I so mean, if I'm he's gay, then what, what do you care? She called me because she saw us fussing through Facebook. She said, girl, what's going on? I said, your husband gay. That's what's going on. And then I thought. <laughs> okay. How did he meet the transsexual? I mean, how did it happen? He, they said, the trainer said through the um, internet. I mean, I don't, that's what I'm saying. I don't really have a lot of details. But, it's just what I'm saying, was said to me. I just Right, but it. that's what I'm saying. You're tearing a marriage apart with not a lot of evidence. I'm not tearing a marriage apart. You're posting on it that this guy's gay, and then you're telling his wife he's gay. Yeah, because I heard he was gay, and I told him he was <laughs> What else I'm gonna say? I'll just repeat you know, it. I just repeated okay. what he said. I, I would I would never want to tear anybody's marriage unless it was my close friend or my my family, and they were possibly going to be getting hurt. Why would I get involved in anybody's marriage? No, this is what, what we were talking to me. What was told to me, honestly, I didn't call Rainy. Rainy called me. Yeah, I did so call I told you. Rainy what was told to me. I probably would have never called it if she never called me. All right, let's bring out Marvin. <laughs> man, I don't see nothing funny about this, man. Okay, step back. 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 So she didn't want you anyway? No, we was getting oh, back. Look, my don't face, bring man. that up. We hey. was getting back together. Hey, you don't know, always sleep with no damn transsexual. Mm -hmm. You know that. You probably okay. gay. You know what? Um, I'm going to ask the two of you on, and uh, uh -huh. we'll see you later. Right. 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 This time we have a TV show. I believe. Um, first of all, let me say that I'm in your corner, okay? Because. She's telling your wife things that she really absolutely has no evidence that anything happened between you and anybody. And your wife, I, I could tell she really loves you. And she wanted to, she said you were doing good, that you were improving yourself to get back together and make the marriage work. You guys have been married almost six years now. Did you sleep with the transsexual? No, Steve, I never sex, slept with a transsexual. I love my wife. I love my kids. I miss my kids. I got a two, a six months old child and I can't really see you because of this mess right here. Why do you think they're saying this about you? Because they got mad because I wouldn't pay their bills. It's not my obligation to pay their bills. And you think that's why they would do that? That's the only reason why I mean, it's pretty brutal did. if they do that, trying to break up your marriage because you didn't pay a bill. That was the only reason why they did it. Um, I never slept with a Have you ever met this transsexual? Never seen him. You never seen him? Never seen him. Did you go on a website? And never seen them. Don't know nothing about them. So you didn't go on the website no, trying to meet a transsexual? No, no. Why would I go meet a transsexual? I got a wife. Um, have you ever been with a man? No, never. You love your wife? Yes, I love my and wife. And you want to be back with I her? I want my wife and my kids back. And you separated to get... I do whatever get... it takes to get my family back. And you had separated to get straight? Yes. I mean, you wanted to straight... You had some problems. You were trying to fix them? Yes. Okay. Um, the transsexual is here. Let's bring out London. What you say? What was supposed to happen there? You tell me. You, I told you what happened. Now tell Steve. We asked you, have you ever had sexual contact with London? You said no. We gave him this test three times. And they came back that he, we had sex and that, that was, was that. that. You are the fuck. You're up on stage. <laughs> we asked you, have you ever had sexual contact with London? You said no. We gave him this test three times, and it came back. 
Bucky. Why don't you tell me what happened? Okay, I met him online. I told him I was a transsexual, and he knew. And we had sex, and that was that. Mm -hmm. With that man right there? With him. And you're not lying about it? For what? I don't know her. I don't got no reason to lie to her. Me neither. Definitely don't. Why are you so, why are you so hostile with me, though? Because, why? because you, you, why? Why you, you coming so off hostile? at me. I don't know you. Look, okay, boy. But, okay, okay, so, well, 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 leave the shoes on. Leave the shoes on. Leave the shoes on. What you trying to do? No, no, no. Okay. Damn, show me. Why would you, listen. Listen, hold on, hold on, hold on. Talk to Look. me. You stop. 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 Why you, you want to fight somebody you never met in your life? Exactly. Yeah, because why, why are you coming off that man? Why are you coming off that man because of your husband? Audience, yeah. I, did I come off at, at oh, this thing right here? Oh, hell no. Came out with an attitude with me. Something like that. If you would be lying about this, wouldn't that be... <laughs> wouldn't that be a really... Horrible thing to lying do. To I don't know her. What but the point is, about? if you're lying about this story, you are breaking up a marriage and a family with children. Some I don't even care about. But I'm asking you, if you were lying about it, that would be terrible. It would be. All right. And you'd be ashamed of yourself. Her laws. You'd be ashamed of yourself if you're lying. <laughs> if I was. Okay, but you're not lying. Making and look, Steve, when we get these results back, can I please knock some damn sits in his head and make him a man okay. again? Because this ass so I mean, that's why you walk okay. now. This is a lie. This is a lie. Why are you going to This is a lie. Bring, yeah, bring that thing back. He can't even take the pressure. This is a lie. They can't, can you bring Nate and Crystal back too? And they all come back right. out? Yes. Yeah, they bring it Bring everybody. Out. Bring everybody out. Okay, girl. Don't you know what? Girl. Don't let us Hey, London, call it what you London, want. act like a lady, all right? Call it what you want. Uh, <laughs> no, this ain't your time. Stop, stop, stop. Let the show go. Okay. Let the show go. You know what? There's a couple laughs with this story, but when it comes down to it, if somebody's lying up here, uh, whether it's Marvin, he's being deceitful to his wife and destroying his own marriage. That would and if it's anybody over here lying, then you, you're absolutely sticking your nose where it doesn't belong and you could be tearing uh, a child's father away from him. Think about that. Okay. Forget about her. You'd be tearing a child. You don't, oh well. well. You don't care because you ain't got I no damn kids. Oh, come That's what I think. No, What's no. that? No, stay over. Marvin came here today to save his marriage. We asked you, have you ever had sexual contact with London? You said no. Did you have sexual contact with London more than one time? You said no. Have you ever had sexual contact with another man? You said no. Are you gay? He said no. We gave him this test three times. And each time, the results came back the same to every question. And they came back that he told the truth. Told the truth. Yeah. Fair London. You can read them right here. The people want you. But let's let's go out there. You know this is right, London. 
She can read them. I'm London, like, London. No, because his wife didn't okay. black on me, and I, I, mean, I just repeat it. You know? London, London. Come back, London. Get out of there. Okay, you know what? I'll read them back here. I'll read back, them back here. here. But I want Marvin and his wife to come back. No. I'm yes, we're doing please, it here. Get that camera out of my face. Well, like, we're doing a TV show here. Whoa, well, I don't want to be on your TV well, show. Well, you please. came here. You oh, agreed to. Oh. Come on now. Come on now. Let's just get this over with. This is London's lie detector results. Remember, you said that if you lied, that'd be a pretty horrible thing to do. Sure, I did. Why are you so... There's two parts. Okay. You got another part coming, right? Okay. First part is, we asked London... Did you have any type of sexual contact with Marvin? London said yes. Did you have sexual contact with Marvin more than once? And London said yes, he did. Are you fabricating a story that you and Marvin had sex? And he said no, we're not, he's not fabricating it. And the results for his lie detector test came back all the same, results all the same to every question, and it came back that London did not tell the truth. Oh my now there's another part to this. Another part. Can I believe this? I gotta go. I just don't want to do this over, man. No, next before you go on, just look. We, hold on. This is this is a good. Wait, this is a good juicy part. You want to listen? Come here, you too. We also asked London. Did Lacey ask you to fabricate a story? What? That Marvin had sex with you? What? And she said no. So no, Lacey didn't tell me to do that. She told the truth. You didn't ask her. Thank you. Now oh, can I go? Okay, hold on. But don't you want to hear well, about I'm your partner? Yo, don't you want to hear about your partner? You partner? Don't off, you want to hear about I'm your partner? Go ahead, go ahead. Did ahead, Crystal ask you to fabricate a story that Barbara had sex with you? She said no. Go Did Crystal week. ask you to fabricate a story that Marvin had sex with you? She said no. She did not tell the truth. Oh, my God. Well, oh. I guess. I didn't so, get a lot of detective sex, so I don't know is, This is your godmother's husband, and you had money. I can't believe this is crazy. Family is crazy. Family. Not, man. He didn't give you some money? And you're gonna destroy their marriage? No, that ain't it. That, that is it. it. That, that is it. That ain't it. That ain't it. No, it's not. You can take your it off my stage. Let me go. Okay. Hey, hey, Crystal. Hey, London. No, come on, man. Come on. Man. No, no, no. You're not finished. Can I, can I please finished. talk to Crystal okay. for one minute? Hold on, hold on, hold on a second. I, we want that. We want here. that. That's what we want. Uh, hey, London. You tried to destroy a man's marriage. You should be ashamed of it. Are you, you, you can't turn around. Why? Camera, you can lie right. to somebody's face, but now you can't take the truth? You're yeah. fake. You're phony. Get your ass out of my studio. Oh, it's like with London. Be a man, be a woman, be truthful. Do oh, something with your life. Now, why would you want to destroy their marriage? I mean, Steve, you can say what you want. I'm not saying what I want. Day, I'm saying the okay, truth. So at the end of the day, I'm not about to sit here and talk about this when you're just going to kick me off the stage anyway. So you might as well just I'm giving you let your me chance. walk out. I'm giving you your chance. I don't want to explain. Don't want to know you don't want to explain. I left my house, so I'm not going to explain why I made up this story. Oh, well. You did make up the story. Wow. Exactly. Well, that's all we Thank need to know. You. Get your ass out of my wow. studio, too. Why don't you guys go back on stage? Come on, Ricky. Come on. You know what? Uh, like I said, this story had a lot of twists and turns, and at some point we were kind of laughing about it. But destroying somebody's marriage over a lie, that's not funny. There's no humor in that. This is a lie that hurt you incredibly. And you, you heard your goddaughter admit that she made this up, but she wasn't going to explain why she made it up. Doesn't matter why she made it up. She wanted to destroy your marriage over a lie. Anything that either one of you want to say to each other? 
I want to say to you, I want to say to you, I love you. I would never do nothing like that. All I want is my family back. Okay. And I'm sorry for like cussing you out when I heard that, that lie. I'm sorry. Are you guys getting back together? Yes, we're going to work it out. It's just...